Well, what's the second thing I will do when I install Arco Linux? Besides choosing wallpapers, which I have actually not done, it's Variety that shows me this one, which is kind of nice for the moment. And, um, well, we have still updates to do, but we'll do it later. Those so two elements that are uh, bugging us right now at this point in time, 1 April 2018. But what else will I do? Well, first I'll check all my icons. Icons should be all nice in the sense that it's all circular and it's gray. And what we see, we see this one and that one. So there are other, maybe others as well, but if you remember this one, that would be nice. It's a simple command, sudo hard code fixer. And that's it. Every time there's an update of these software packages, these guys, um, they, they break your system, they break your design. And because of that, you get this an hard coded path to an image. And the image is always the same, whatever, you, if you choose Papyrus, Numix, whatever, it's always going to be a hard-coded path to that specific image, and we don't want that. So that's a, a little fix, and then you can go check it again, and you'll see that all icons are now nice. And there was HP, was there a problem? This one was a problem. But down there, there would be Zoom as well, all the way down. Zoom was a problem, and so on. So all that is fixed because of this small little line. That's that. That's our icons that are fixed. Now, the next thing I'll do as well is install more, install more software. And we go and find the software at the github.com. And it's up to you to decide if you really want to do this or not. It's really up to you, but we have here the Arco Linux Nemesis. And that's, um, well, there are lots of things that are interesting. For instance, the fonts for the conkeys. I do not download them uh, one by one. No, I have here a little script that says, I need all the fonts for the conkeys, because a conkey can be beautiful if you have the right uh, font for it, of course. So how do we do this? We copy this to the clipboard. That's all we need. And then we have some kind of uh, order in the chaos, meaning I create a folder, which is called data for me. And then I say inside here, git clone me the thing that I just copy pasted. Control Shift V. Enter. So Arca Linux Nemesis is on your system. And all you have to do is run the things. Now this gives me again an opportunity to tell you guys in the previous tutorial, we ran this one and it was already in the open box folder in your .config open box. So again here, so you don't forget to run it, use all the cores you have on your system. It makes your system fly. Okay, so don't need to run this one because I just did it in the other tutorial. So install the core software there are some elements i really want to install still as not a slash i always do that <coughs> so what elements did i install deconf editor is going to be in next time around in the next edition we often need it to edit some elements and why not just put it on the iso so that's next one and gnome screenshot is why I need to have some pictures for the website. 300, again, not a slash. I have some problems typing today. There we go. So the Discord, um, Discord is something we would like to use as a chat box. So if you want to chat with us guys, then we have here now, um, an application which is called Discord. Uh, we could uh, do, for instance, a communication with HexChat, but we really like the design and the functionality of uh, Discord. And so we're going for our chat box. We're going to Discord. Now it's going to take um, a while because we are installing libc++ to, um, to the system. 
and it's going to test a lot of things here. So it's going to use all my processing power and we can always take a look at the processing power if you do a Konki Zen quickly and then say, for instance, the Nemesis one. Now you'll see that it's going to really boost your system up 100% usage. This is due because we have uh, re-ran this one. We said use all cores. Well, it's going to heat up your CPU for sure and you will hear your fans, but it's going to work faster. You have a faster installation that way. All depends, of course, how many cores you have. If you just have two cores, well, you don't feel the, the same speed, of course, than if you have eight cores. So what we do, I hear already my fans working. What we do is we run all these elements. Let's see what's in here as well. Besides Discord, there are things I will not put on the ISO. And that's all the cloud applications. So if you don't use Dropbox, then why install it? The hard code fixer is already installed, so that's it's gonna skip those. In sync, it's cloud service. If you don't want MPD, NCMP, CPP, the thing here, music, then it's it's up to you to install it or not. Radio tray is again music. All the Saturday extra icons, I like to switch between 110 versions of them. And then Spotify, if you don't uh, want to use this proprietary uh, software. And then the virtual box for some of us. And in the end we say, okay, let's check out if all the software is installed, we check if the icons are correct. And that's why probably it's in here, just to make sure that uh, it gets installed. It is installed. All right, so that's what's going to happen in 300. Now, this thing is working. We can uh, save us some time and say, go on with 710, which is going to move all the fonts we're going to need for the conkeys and that's already done so that's it next time if we have a beautiful conkey and i believe there is an, uh, an easy way to show you that let's put this one there there is a conkey called logo what did you expect something like that let's see voila so it works fine. We see this spe special font here. What did you expect? So yes, the fonts do work. What else? Some of us need to, uh, to run this one, the fixed microcode error. Uh, depending on the hardware you're on, you see sometimes in this black screen when you boot up this microcode error. Okay, just run 900 and then you're all set. You'll never see it again. Fix is done. So that's it. Basically, these things I would recommend you to, to run these guys um, and to, to see anyway if you want elements from the 300 portion or um, definitely run this one. In the next video, I'll probably run this one as well, which is very personal things like uh, the, the bookmarks and the folders and the settings from GIMP and things like that. That's maybe less interesting for you guys. How far is he going? 63%. Okay, time to pause. And there we go. So it takes a while to build libc++, but at the end, everything is installed. And then we download Discord and we install it. So without this libc++, we cannot install Discord. So we really need to, unfortunately, build this thing and it takes a while. But once installed, everything will be just fine. So Discord is now installed. So again, Discord is going to be our chat box. Uh, the way to get in touch, say, hey, how are you? Everything good? Small questions, yes, no. If bigger issues are, uh, are, are reported or anything like that, 
go to the forum. That's the way to communicate. People will find your, your and our solutions in the future, so we don't have to repeat ourselves. That's the main worry we have, that we have to repeat everything over and over again uh, in Facebook, Google Plus and all that. So the tougher stuff, the longer stuff, the technical stuff goes on forums. Okay, we're building lots of stuff. So InSync is here uh, working now. The cloud service for Google Plus, that's InSync. So that's one way how I work. I install and do a clean install and put everything on my Dropbox and my Google Drive and everything is synced back. That's the easiest way for me to work. There's also a possibility, of course, to have an external hard drive and sync that way. Gonna pause a little bit more. At this point in time, 1st April 2018, there is a problem with the build from Spotify. So I do want to listen to be able to listen to my Spotify uh, account or client. And that's this here. So we have a problem. It's going to come from a Debian file. So AOR is never Arch Linux. It's always something from somewhere else, uh, from Red Hat, in this case, from Debian. So we have to figure that out. In the meantime, my script has stopped. So, what do you do? You just go to your Thunar file manager, data, article Linux. And this is the script we're talking about. We open this one. And it's a good thing that it stops. But we want to have virtual boxes still, you know. So, we say, okay, for this time, I know Spotify is not working. So, I'm going to put this hashtag in front. So, the set minus E will not work. And we will run rerun 300 then he's going to try to install spotify again which fails of course again but it's going to install virtual box which i'm gonna need for later on to try out um, some elements so here we are already at fixing discord so you see there's one application discord is installed but the icon was not good and because of uh, our little script here it is now this nice Sardi icon. So that's working fine. So we have here already two things, three things to solve. And uh, those two are Inksy Omox. And now the next one is Spotify. So, um, well, we'll make separate tutorials about these three guys. All right. Um, for now, I don't think I have anything to tell except. Um, Reboot and enjoy, I guess. All right. Cheers.